And water and kids, two things that go together, but only if the kids know the safety rules. And we're going to tell you how they can learn those rules. And we have the chef from Atrio at the Conrad in Miami. I hope that's the way I, you know, I think it's Atrium, isn't it? Uh, I, that's what my thought was, but I'm not positive. Because I think I've been there. It's a fabulous restaurant. A residence and hotel with a fabulous view of the waterfront and downtown Miami and also a very chic happy hour. The guys are over there. The chefs are over there saying, hey, shout it. You can Just shout, shout it. it to me. Atrio. 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 Okay. Well, you know what that means. We're happy to have Chef Michael Gilligan with us today. He's from Atrio at the Conrad in Miami, and it's such a beautiful hotel. He prepares elegant food every night in an elegant setting, and he's brought along with us Jovan Jean. Okay, I got that right. <laughs> And what are you making for today? And thank you for coming in again. You're welcome. It's always good to see it's you. It's a pleasure to be here. Today we are going to make a steak tartare napoleon. Oh. And the reason why it's called napoleon is because it's layered. Oh, layered. And that's why. Okay. It, nothing to do with the, uh, the French emperor. Okay. But it does have a rich history, steak tartare. Steak tartare actually originated with Genghis Khan in the 12th century. Apparently, this is the story. They, uh, they chopped the, uh, the meat and then had it underneath their saddles, rode into battle, and then the saddles tenderized the meat, and then they ate it raw. Are you serious? I am serious. And then Kublai Khan, his grandson, mm -hmm. then went to uh, invaded Russia, like you do, and then brought that dish with them. And there came steak tartare, who brought it to Germany, to Hamburg, who brought it to this country. Amazing This is story. where we get the hamburger from. from from this original thing. That's where the hamburger came this from? This is where it first started. See, I thought that was an all-American thing. Uh, no. <laughs> Not quite, okay. <laughs> All right, steak tartare. Can people do this at home? Very simple to do. We start with the uh, Angus beef. We use uh, Angus filet, which is the best cut of meat because it has no fat and it's very tender. And we, uh, we chop this up, fine dice, just as Joe Vince is doing. Mm -hmm. Mind your fingers, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and then, we start to add our ingredients. And what are those we have, ingredients? Uh, keep chopping, we add a keep little chopping. bit more. Chop, chop, chop. We have our grated ginger. Ginger goes in there? Fresh ginger. Okay. See, I would Great, have thought of that. Grated garlic. Okay, I would have thought of and that. And rather than chop them with a knife, I, I grate them on a grater. It comes up, it's a lot easier. Yeah, you start to mix this together. Too, right? it's, a, it's a lot finer. You don't get those big lumps in your mouth. <laughs> and then we add our capers, which are fried capers. Gives it a little bit of crunch. It takes fried? out fried. We fry them in a little bit of oil, and it, it takes out that uh, that that bitterness that it has it's sometimes. The that you yeah, had yes. the bite, so it mellows it out a bit and gives it an added crunch. And then we add our chopped scallion, like so. Now I've been over to the Conrad Hotel, and you can keep adding your uh, ingredients Order. there. That is the most gorgeous place, isn't it? The best view. It's oh, the yeah. best view in Miami. Now I know that during uh, Wuma. You suffered some damage. Everything all fixed and beautiful again? Everything is ready to go. Okay. We're, all, we're all back. We're back in business. Now, when you come to the atrio, in general, what would you say the kind of food that you and Jovan we make? We make uh, lesion. Lesion food is... I was uh, like, huh? <laughs> it's a made-up word because we made it up. It's a mixture of Latin and Asian. So we call it lesion. Ah. And we, we, mix the, we mix the two together. Because in South Miami, it's so, it's so hot here, so yes. we need some Asian food, which is nice and light. And because of all the Latin influence that we have here in the, in the gateway to South America, we mix the two together. Okay, all right, let, let's okay. continue here. Where were we? I added then uh, two tablespoons of soy sauce, soy sauce and one tablespoon of cilantro juice. Ooh. Cilantro juice, I take the stems of the cilantro and I puree them you to didn't make the think juice. there'd be enough juice in cilantro? Honestly, in just in the stems, not in the leaves, in the stems. Okay. And then we add our sesame oil. Okay. And then we add our togarashi. Togarashi is a Japanese spice, has uh, seven different ingredients. Uh, it has uh, sesame seed, grated mandarin peel, uh, chili peppers, black peppers. And we have our salt and pepper. That we season this guy. good. Oh, this is beautiful. And then we season it up. And then Joe Vins, who is the master at plating, <laughs> is going to show you how beautiful we make this at the restaurant. Okay. Let me move this blood and knife out of the way. What, now what kind of chef is Jovan again? He's the sous chef. The sous chef. Now uh, what does that mean? Sous is uh, French for under. Oh, under chef. So uh, okay. here's my second in command. Now look how easy he does that, makes that work of art. Uh, the man's talented, you I know, tell you. Between Lenny over there painting and Jovan, I feel like I have no talent. 
I mean, it's just amazing what they can just do. And this, we use poppadoms. Poppadom is actually made out of uh, lentil flour. Lentil flour. It's, a, okay. it's an Indian dish. That's another part of Asia that we mix with our lasion. Oh, fantastic. And a lot of places that you, if you do see uh, poppadoms, they will be deep fried. But we don't like that, we grill them. Mm, okay. So it's, uh, it's, it's less fat. We've got about 30 seconds left, so Jovan, finish that. Uh, chef, where are you from? Uh, originally from England. England. Are mm -hmm. you enjoying the States? I love it here. <laughs> But I've we been love here a while. You here. I've been here like 14 years. Okay. All right, Jovan's finishing that. I'm going to tell folks how they can get this good eating. Atrio is located inside the Conrad Miami Hotel on Brickle Avenue. If you need re reservations or more information, give them a call at 305-503-6500 or just log on to our website at NBC6.net. Once you're there, click on South Florida Today and we will connect you. Can we see the finished product on Riz's camera real quickly? It's absolutely gorgeous. And you know what? Still ahead on South Florida Today, tell your kids nice. a whale tail to keep them safe around water. Plus, tips to help them sit still if you're taking on a big road trip for the summer. Chefs, thank you so Trina, much. Trina, thank you, sweetheart. As always, we'll be right back. Oh, you're creating art again. Everybody <laughs>